He's taken his team and expanded into multiple markets. They produce 140 million in annual sales volume, which you know equals out to 5 million in uh, gross commission income per year. Hi, I'm Brian Eisenhower, and I have the pleasure of being with you today uh, with a good friend, coaching client, and uh, Eisenhower coaching and consulting coach himself, uh, Rick Fuller. Rick, welcome. Hey, thanks, Brian. Good to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you. Um, you know, Rick and I work together on, on a lot of different web levels. He's up in the um, San Francisco Bay Area and just has an amazing team. They produce 140 million in annual sales volume, which you know equals out to 5 million in uh, gross commission income per year. Uh, these guys are a powerhouse team and they dominate uh, their markets in, in, in a variety of ways. Uh, but I really, what I think is so unique and what I asked Rick to, to be on with us today is to share with you, um, you know, he is, he's taken his team and expanded into multiple markets in the South Bay area the way he's done that and put structure behind his uh his now real estate expansion team is phenomenal and we want to share that with you today uh, both visually and, and out of rick's mouth so i'm going to turn it over to you and let you kind of explain a little bit about the uh the structure of your team yeah you bet brian and you've been a big help to that so thank you very much so we have uh, a main office and then we have expansion offices brian in our county and those expansion offices about 30 minutes or so apart from one another our main office houses all of our administrative transaction coordinators our isa we call them concierge they're all housed in our main office our branch offices have our sales team members and we have small groups that uh, operate from those expansion offices and that way we run efficiently effectively and you know we're able to be really responsive the nice thing about the san francisco bay area is we've got a lot of people our county has 1.2 million people but we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of people we can serve here in our community. That's amazing. That's amazing. How about we show them your org chart so you can kind yeah, of show them what it the looks screen, like. Sure. On the chart here, on the left-hand side of this chart, uh, left-hand side of your screen, that's right. You're going to see our director of concierge. You know that as ISA, inside sales, inside scheduling, agents or, or associates. We call it concierge. We found that that's a little more friendly uh, term. We mirror that next to, you know, something along the lines of a hotel concierge. So somebody that can help you connect the dots, help you um, make a connection um, and are very friendly. That's our concierge team. We have a director of concierge does an amazing job and manages our basic training. Uh, these are new team members, Brian. Yep, right there. These are our new team members. We typically bring on seven to 10 at a time. It's seasonal. Uh, they come in, they learn the industry, they get licensed. Um, they work their SOI, uh, Circle of Prospect. Uh, they're unlicensed team members, so they're not doing any licensed activity. And when they get their license, they move into the role of a showing specialist, eventually to a buyer specialist, also known, yep, that's right, also known as a, a buyer's agent. And then as they're growing within our organization, they can move their way up to a lead buyer specialist or what is also known as a lead buyer's agent. And then on the way, all the way up to a lead buyer coach where they actually coach our uh, specialists. Now, I, I want to stop one second here because I really love what we do here is how you take them in basic training and right. you, you almost have them in the role of a, of a of concierge or an ISA right off the bat. So they're developing Similar amazing yeah. habits right off the bat i mean these guys are uh they're learning how to prospect they're learning how to convert leads they're they're doing the hard part of the business that generates business so they're learning great habits right off the bat it's a wonderful testing ground yeah it really is brian they learn to lead generate lead convert and they learn our culture uh, so they come out of that with great habits so they're already winning when they get there and they've received a little bit of income along the way um, and they've gone through this program and have shortened their learning uh, curve in the industry. So we're, we're really excited about that program. So the next section right there, Brian, we have a lead concierge or what you might know as a lead ISA and then two ISA or concierge team members. Uh, and so they field all of our calls. They help us nurture uh, the opportunities that come in. They help us create speed to lead. And they literally have uh, several phones in the office that when they ring, everything stops. They pick it up. 
and so that they can communicate directly with the consumer uh, when they want to, when they're looking at a property or on our website, on Zillow, realtor.com, wherever they might be, and they can pick it up and respond. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Once, once they do that, Brian, they connect it with one of our buyer specialists or listing specialists out there in the field. So then uh, very quickly they can connect, they can meet at a property uh, or be, be at a property. If somebody's wanting to list, they can uh, be available to visit at their property very, very quickly. And so our concierge schedules that. Uh, moving on over, Brian, we've got our director of marketing. Uh, director of marketing uh, manages our marketing group. Uh, in the marketing group, we have uh, our lead marketing specialist we, and our listing marketing specialist. The listing spe marketing specialist is designed to take every listing that we get and get the maximum amount of buyers um, out of that opportunity. And so they make sure that every opportunity is available from that listing to get a buyer. We try to squeeze out as many as we can. We also have several marketing specialists. And currently they're working on various types of farming as well as uh, doing uh, database marketing as well as communicating on social media and they do all of our social media pieces. And so that's our marketing group. Moving on over, Brian, we've got our operations team, which is followed by our lead transaction coordinator. Our lead transaction coordinator manages our several transaction coordinators on our team. And so that's uh, those are our transaction coordinators. Most real estate teams have transaction coordinators. We like to have several available so our agents can work with the ones that they feel most comfortable. And based on volume and so forth, we have several to choose from. Uh, let's move on over, Brian. I know I'm kind of moving quickly, but I want to go over to the lead buyer coach. Uh, we have a lead buyer coach, and the lead buyer coach then is responsible for the entire buyer team or the buyer group. And in that, we have a lead buyer specialist, then several buyer specialists, and a showing specialist. The idea is while our buyer specialists are busy at open houses uh, and writing offers, they have a showing specialist. That showing specialist typically comes from basic training all the way back over from concierge. That's kind of their first stop. And they learn the industry. They learn how to show properties. And then they're uh, typically promoted to a buyer specialist after that. Excellent. Okay. We have our lead listing coach, Brian. And uh, so they manage our listing group. They have a lead listing specialist. We found the lead to be a great developmental role, both the lead buyer specialist, lead listing specialist. We found that those are really good developmental roles for our future coaches. And we actually use your ICC Learning Center, Brian, and that coach module, and they watch and, and study that coach module. And when they complete it, now they can uh, be in a position to be promoted to coach. Yeah, this is a good time to plug the fact uh, a lot of your team uses quite a few, like your your concierge, your ISA team goes through our ISA training. Most of your agents have been through our sphere of influence training because you do a good job of helping them develop their own business from their own sources and connections as well, too. Um, so, yeah, these guys use it all. You, you're very learning based as a leader and it, and it shows up in your team's results. Well, Brian, your tools, uh, honestly, they're just they're fantastic. Um, we we use uh, in order to be a leader within our company, you have to have three skill sets. You've got, to, of course, be a leader. Uh, you've got to be a producer. Nobody wants to work with somebody that isn't doing it themselves. And you got to be a recruiter. And so we also use your recruiting module. Uh, so that we can find new team members that fit our team culture and what's uh, what makes us unique. And so our leaders use your recruiting module and that's what helps them move from a buyer specialist or a listing specialist to a lead. And then from lead, they take your coaching module that you have and then they be, they can be have, have an opportunity to be a coach. And so that covers our lead buyer coach, lead listing coach, they, both of those on that organization model. That's great. So let's move over to the director of expansion. Uh, this is the person that's responsible for helping us multiply. Now we we love expansion offices, and they they do several things. Um, one is they help you build a presence in that local market. Uh, when you're 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 30, 40 miles away from a subject property, you tend to not attract as much business in that area. So it helps us have a local presence, and it's convenient. Um, our team members can pop by right after an open house, sign a buyer representation client uh, 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 agreement with their clients. They can pop in and take a listing right there in our branch offices. Those branch offices each have a listing specialist. We've kind of promoted the, the listing coach rather into the, the leader. That's right, right in that position. And then we have the lead listing specialist and now the buyer coach. 
And we kind of have duplicated those roles. And Brian, do you happen to have that other org chart? We'll kind of dive in a little bit deeper on what that looks like. Yeah, this lets us zoom in a little closer. Yeah, so this kind of zooms this, this in. So we have our buyer coach each that have lead buyer specialists. And one of the things that we've made a pretty sizable shift, Brian, is into this idea of small groups. Uh, we believe that there's better retention when real estate agents joins, uh, specialists join small groups rather than just being one of 15 buyer specialists. And so what we like to do is have a, a lead, a showing specialist, and a couple of buyer specialists, that's that small group. And these lead positions, lead buyer specialist positions, they're in this developmental role being prepared um, to be our next coach so we can expand into future markets. Yeah, and I think this is the biggest thing about you down below. The amount of paths for career growth you have on this team. I mean, they, and that's a big problem a lot of teams have is they, they, they don't have very good team retention because agents grow up, they get stuck and there's nowhere to go. I mean, they, they literally can climb a corporate ladder on your team. Well, um, and constantly evolve, you know, a good well, Brian, <laughs> you're, you're, you're absolutely right. When we started tapping into what we call pathways for promotion, in other words, you don't, there are growth opportunities. How many times in an interview have you heard, I want a place where I can grow. We found this was a huge demand uh, for team members. They want to be able to grow. They don't want to just become an agent, maybe a broker one day. They want to be able to grow. So somebody can come in, uh, the right team member can come in through basic training. And that's what we talked about. The director of concierge manages that. And they can complete basic training and be promoted to a showing specialist. And then they can be promoted to a specialist, buyer or seller specialist. Then they can be promoted to a lead specialist. And finally, they can be promoted to a coach. And even coaches can be promoted to various expansion offices based on volume and so forth. So there's several levels of promotion. We begin to tap into this. We realize there was a huge desire in the real estate industry for people to have uh, team members to have opportunities for promotion. And they didn't have it um, really outside of the team structure. And so it, that's been a lot of fun. Actually, we've got a lot of team members. Uh, they want to grow rapidly. And so we have IDPs that kind of help them progress. Brian, your ICC online learning center provides what we call bridges. Uh, these are bridges from uh, one opportunity to the next. Oh, that's great. And one thing I do want you to elaborate on, I want them to yeah. see your face soon here. So I'm going to, I'm going to probably take this off, but one thing I'll set the stage for you, you know, you, you there, I, I want you to explain the basis because you do uh, operate in a lot of small groups uh, in each area with a leader and then, you know, a couple buyer specialists and a showing specialist in each group. Um, and I kind of want to, I'd like for you to explain, you know, same with on the listing side and the buyer side within all your offices, you make sure there's a lot of accountability uh, and, 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 um, and direction and mentoring for everyone. So people don't get lost in the crowd and that there is, uh, everybody is getting trained, mentored and held accountable. So I'm going to, I'm going to switch. Right. I'm yeah. going to switch us away from this so I can bring you back. So uh, why don't you explain the concept behind that and how that works for you? Well, there's several thoughts behind the small groups. By having a lead specialist that then has only a couple of team members, there's greater retention. The relationships are deeper. You know, there's an old saying that, that people don't leave companies, they leave bosses, right? They leave employers, they leave their supervisors. So this allows small groups to be formed. And what I've realized is that within a small group, if you have a small group A, small group B, small group C, there's a lot of benefits to that. One is there's a natural gamification that takes place. Like one typically is a better converter or a better lead generator. So we're able to look at that and say, well, okay, there's some best practices. Group A can learn from group B and in certain things, group C can learn from group A. And so we can, we can compare and contrast and pick those best practices. Yeah, and I think I, I think your team creates a certain amount of really healthy competition too between the yeah. groups. You know, yeah, that natural gamification takes place where our team members are. Man, I can't believe what Group B is doing. Uh, let's find out and let's do it the same. And so the small groups helped us do that. It also helped with retention. It's just the fact that when team members join, they form a small group. They're connected. They're building relationships. Uh, they're learning, growing together. They're being challenged together. So the small groups have been very valuable. 
And the other thing that the small group concept has really helped us with, Brian, is that when you have multiple leads, you have team members that you can pull from to be coaches. And so we can now have developmental roles where team members are learning what it's like to be a coach and we can kind of teach and train and guide them using a lot of the ICC online learning center tools. And so now we have several team members that can be promoted to a coach. You really do need everyone to be a leader. I mean, people are, yeah. a, are a leader all the way through. Um, the minute they move out of that the basic training, I mean, they're, they're starting to learn. I mean, you got buyer's agents, you know, leading showing specialists and, right. uh, you know, you've got, you know, you know, lead buyer's agents, leading buyer's agents, then you've got, you know, buyers, coaches leading. I mean, so you, you're always going to be getting better as a leader, better as a mentor, better as a trainer. And it's a great testing ground. I mean, by the time you get a listing coach, I mean, you've got someone who's proven themselves multiple times over uh, and really That's learned right. how to lead. And because you're not limiting it to one lead or one coach, there's others you can learn from and compare and contrast and how people are doing. Yeah, there's one, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make sure I say one thing before we wrap it up. Yeah. I remember, I think it was on our uh, call in the, either last week or the week before, you, you you mentioned something that I thought was so cool. You mentioned, you know what, it feels like this structure can grow yes. with unlimited leaps and bounds now because you do have the systems in place. You know, it feels like that your team can grow uh, as quickly as you want it to, you know? Uh, oh. With this and that's exactly right, Brian. There was really no limit now uh, to our team. It's completely scalable. We can grow as fast as we choose to grow. Uh, we want to make sure we have people that fit our team culture and who we are and represent our clients. And so that's critically important. Once we find those people, this structure allows us just to continue to grow in a very healthy format. Well, I've been well, I've been watching that happen. It seems like every week we've got some new personnel <laughs> that you're telling me about. <laughs> or, or several, Brian. Several, or several right. new yeah. team members. <laughs> That's pretty much more how it's been working. Yeah, it's pretty. It, it's it's really fun to be a part of it. And and thank you today, Rick, for for sharing so much of uh, your time and secrets and and uh, and knowledge with everybody watching. Hey, my my pleasure, Brian. Take care. Okay, you too. Over and out, everybody. Take care.